everybody. This is uh, Victor Broden with Premier Guitar. Today we're doing some uh, Premier Basing. And uh, this, uh, this little hang we're having today is to uh, sort of illustrate uh, my latest column for uh, the On Bass section of the magazine, where uh, I'm discussing this kind of technique that I really don't think it has a name. Uh, I'm calling it the thumbing, slapping, picking, muting technique at the same time. Or uh, back when I lived in the Twin Cities, uh, uh, some of Prince's guys would always refer to it as the Minneapolis Rumble because it has a real slop to it and, and it, it basically maybe has a little bit of the origins from the Larry Graham slap technique but it's, it's a combination of several techniques which uh, I will show you in these examples how to kind of get close to this technique. So the first example one uh, is your standard palm muting, I'm faking the upright and I'm getting a more old school thuddy sound out of my bass. You're muting at the bridge and you're using the, the fleshy part of your thumb as it were to just get a really tubby old school sound and you end up hitting the bass kind of like right in front of the uh, bridge pickup most of the time. So you get this kind of tone. Right? So you use the, uh, you use not really a, like a pop, like a slap and pop. You just use it as kind of like an upright player would, would add a rhythmical accent. So that is example one. You mute with your palm right on the saddles of the bridge and you get that, that nice round tone. Right? So example two is a, a more traditional slap position, which you know, there are many schools and many millions of videos, but hitting with the, uh, the actual bone of your thumb and hitting right at the neck body joint. Now, I prefer to hit a little bit behind because I feel I get more low end back here than I do here. Um, and a lot of people are starting to get into the double thumbing technique, which really helps for what we're getting at today. What I did there double thumbing that is also part of the thing so between having the traditional upright technique and the traditional slap technique with a little bit up and down with the thumb traditional slapping the cool part is getting these two techniques combined and putting it right in the middle so instead of muting at the bridge you're muting not really muting but you're keeping your palm about an inch in front of the bridge you end up playing it and right on top of the neck pickup. So, playing on top of the neck pickup presents a different challenge um, because you're not really slapping and you're not really muting, but you're doing both. And um, what really helps to steady the thumb to do what we're about to do is to grab the first finger and kind of support the thumb like you would support a pick if you were holding a pick. So, and, and we're gonna sort of do it like we're playing with a pick and slapping at the same time. So, so what happens there is I'm not really popping traditionally either. I'm just kind of getting under a little bit. I recently got into looking at this technique. I've, I've always sort of hinted at it, but I never really practiced it seriously. And recently I saw Ethan Farmer, who's a bass player for a lot of contemporary R&B acts and Nicki Minaj and, and Christian Aguilera and uh, even Lionel Richie and a lot of people like that. And I saw him do this on a New Kids on the Block uh, tour. So this is a similar bass line to, where, to what I found there. And the link to him playing uh, this song, which again, this is an adapted version, not quite the line uh, of uh, the right stuff, is in the uh, online version of this article as well, the YouTube link. So his line is basically, and I got a five string bass, so I'm down on the low B string here. If you got a four string, we can move it. So, starts on the B with a little pop. And then it goes down to the low fifth below the root. Like that. Right? And you're getting a lot of fret noise and, and, and kind of mumbo-jumbo in there in life, but 
That's a cool thing about technique compared, this technique compared to say standard slapping is all that noise and grit is what you want. So in case you're playing a four string bass, um, which is totally fine, you can just move the whole exercise to E and start here. Like that. So we can do it with a little, little, little juice on it. Like that. So that's a cool way of combining two techniques like thumb muting and slapping into kind of a muting and slapping at the same time as you're playing with a pick but with your thumb. And um, it's really fun and adds a really loose playful feel uh, and takes away tightness from a song almost which I love. And I um, hope you enjoy it and uh, check out all the other uh, videos from Premier Guitar, especially the bass videos. We hope to have a lot more coming out. And this is Victor with Premier Guitar and see you next time. Don't forget to sign up for PG Perks, your all-access pass to exclusive gear giveaways and discounts on PremierGuitar.com.